everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video and Vlog. We are Tuesday, December the 22nd and um, I should probably uh, change my ways, I guess. <laughs> um, why you say? Well, because uh, Christmas Eve is just around the corner uh, since it's two days from now. Well, not really two days from now because it's almost 8 p.m. so um, it yeah it's still kind of two days from now because you don't celebrate Christmas Eve all through the the 24th uh, you just do it on the evening so yeah two days from now I will need not to be in my pajamas not to be in my bed not to have just woken up and for that I will kind of need to stop living the life as uh, as if I was a lone child <laughs> um, even though it's kind of tough because well there is no one to you can you please you know go to your room now because it's almost 7 a.m. and you should have been sleeping for the past two hours or more I mean fairly in fair, fair enough uh, yesterday night was the Slammy Awards and uh, I mean, it was a waste of my precious time, I guess. Um, why? Because I, I mean, I'm okay with uh, Seth Rollins winning the the Superstar of the Year. I mean, he was the champ. He arguably was one of the better wrestlers uh, in WWE this year, and. Um, but I mean, Diva of the Year, Nikki Bella, I mean, okay, she broke AJ's record, but she shouldn't have done the Steve Harvey, you should have uh, Steve Harvey fail with our truth I mean, sure, he won the LOL moment of the year earlier in the night, but, uh, uh, <laughs> what I'm kind, kind of gutted about is that Neville, who I really, really like, but who didn't do jack shit in his first year in the um, in the main roster, won Breakout Star of the Year instead of people like Kevin Owens, who, I mean, he beat John Cena in his first match, he won the Intercontinental Championship. That's that's really obviously better than uh, all the achievements of uh, of Neville in tw 2015 um, also he beat the shit out of Sami Zayn which is something that not a lot of people have done in NXT um, uh, tag team of the year the Usos why? I mean um, jo Joey Styles said that um, the vote for the good guys dwarfed the votes for the heels, which is kind of weird, weird, weird way to put it. Um, but I mean, do they default? Do the most people who have the app default on good guys? Because I mean, the New Day, they're champs. They're hella more entertaining, and most importantly, they haven't been, uh, they have been active most of the year, if not the whole year. Uh, not like the Usos, who had one of their members being on the shelf for like three months, four months. I mean, the whole summer there was one who was in, in rehab for his, uh, uh, I think it was his his leg. There was something with his leg. The other one was commentating on SmackDown. Cool, huh? So uh, yeah. Anyway, one thing I've been I've been able to see is uh, you know um, Max Landis, the um, director I think of Chronicle. Um, he posted an opinion about a character in the new Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens, and uh, it's everyone sees that as being misogynistic and being 
and being sexist and being Max and is being a piece of shit but he makes uh, lots of really you know really good arguments I haven't seen the movie but I've been spoiled so many times because you know that's kind of the when it comes to spoilers internet is kind of a Russian roulette you're except there uh, instead of having only one bullet you have only one free chamber so yeah you know you're taking a lot of risks and there's I mean the payoff is not is not worth it um I've been I've been spoiled on, on A not TV because TV I'm pretty sure that if I had gone to TV um, I would have been spoiled left left and right I only ever used the catalog uh, because you know there I mean I'm not gonna scroll through pages and threads um, I've learned that on uh, doing that on B because on B there's no catalog but the board is so fast that you can't really follow what's going on so yeah you see your thread and you go there and you're like oh boy <laughs> I'm gonna stay here oh you've been posting Star Wars uh, spoilers wow f fuck you you piece of shit uh, so yeah um, talking about sp spoiling Star Wars uh, here in my country a dude who I think was working for a radio uh, at one point um, spoiled Star Wars but just one plot point it's a fairly big plot point but I mean there are, I, I'm, I'm fairly sure that most of the things are way more shocking so there's still reasons to go see the movie um, but yeah um, <laughs> people have been really really angry and went on a on one of the most despicable witch hunts I could have ever imagined uh, which is they uh, did a mass report and uh, his account got suspended for like a couple of hours the first time I saw a tweet about uh, his account being suspended uh, I didn't quite believe that he was only because of Star Wars spoilers because you know a couple of days ago or it was last week uh, our Secretary of State uh, you know the Chief of Police and everything had been forced to signal to report to a a, a uh, judicial authority that's uh, you know an internet watchdog if you if you will uh, he's been forced to report to them uh, about a big political figure who had posted um, uh, pictures of uh, of ISIL victims, um, and uh, it turns out that not a lot of people signal sign reported that, but you know it, it's kind of weird. Uh, so on one hand mass report for you know uh, Star Wars a movie that is sure a lot of a, a big deal but at the end of the day it's entertainment on the other hand you have people posting homophobic uh, sh shit xenophobic uh, you know activism for for terrorist um, entities uh, I don't know, being just major pieces of shit on the internet, even though that's kind of the thing with the internet. And, I mean, it's it's just fine. You can say whatever about the gays and the colored, you know. Uh, but, oh, spoil Star Wars and I will report you. I mean, nobody did that for Game of Thrones. Because I mean that speaks a lot. There, there aren't a lot of people who are going to, to talk about to watch Star Wars in an illegal way. But the the series that aren't airing for until 24 hours in your country, well, everyone's watching it apparently, at the same time as the U.S. And uh, 
it's really illegal and uh, you shouldn't do that but apparently they do because they aren't pissed at people who spoil them the newest Game of Thrones or Walking Dead or whatever even though I really like those series and those in these movies I find it highly hypocritical that you would must report that someone for that and not for you know other things that you could have done that weren't really swell really chill you know so anyway thanks for watching see you tomorrow I won't change the formula you know uh, sitting on my bed at 7 p.m. is fairly cool uh, but I I might need to change the time uh, at which I wake up and really get active in the day goodbye